This program is brought to you by the friends and partners of AMI. Hallelujah Ministries International believes in the Bible and Christ. We are Christ-centered and Jesus is at the heart of everything we believe and do. Our mission is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. Through this mission, we seek to empower believers and equip them with the tools to share the gospel with the world and to live a life of faith, hope and love in Christ. Jesus remains the same yesterday, today and forever. Just as it was in scripture, his power is at work today in the church. We are AMI. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. Shalom. We've come to declare that the Lord is Jesus. That Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah. We've come to declare He's holy, 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 holy. We love you, Lord. Ages to the land, and all who've gone before us, and all who will believe, we sing the song of ages to the land. Your name.
flag of your country and say, Heal our land, O oh Lord. Heal our land, O oh God. Oh yes. Heal our land, O oh Heavenly Father.
Jesus? Are you free in Jesus? If you are free, clap your hands to Jesus. Oh yeah. Free to dance and sing. Free to lift my hands and worship. Lord, I'm free. Lord, I'm free. Yes, sir. worship lord i'm free lord i'm free i'm free to dance free to dance and sing free to lift, free my, to lift hands. my hands and worship lord i'm free lord i'm free lord i'm free free to move around free to dance and sing 
blessing. It's just a blessing. Everybody sing.
Oh God, could you put your hands up and say, Lord, rain on me today. I need the former and the latter rain together. And I'm not talking about the weather. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost rain. Could somebody lift your hand and say, rain on me. Say, Lord, rain in this place, rain. Let your all consuming fire fill this tabernacle, purify our hearts. Surround us in this place and breathe new life within us. Send a refreshing Lord, saturate our hearts. Let your glory, Lord, let, let your glory fill this place. Let your own consuming, consuming, consuming fire purify our hearts. Surround us, breathe new life within us.
Let your glory fill this room. Let your all consuming fire fill the tabernacle. Purify our hearts. Surround us in this place. Bring new life within us. Send a refresh your love. We are apostolic. Who are we? We are AMI. Who are we, family? We are AMI. Ebenezer, this far the Lord has brought us. Amen. Today is not a service like no other. Today we celebrate and honor God for 22 years of his faithfulness. 22 years of supernatural. 22 years of the miraculous. 22 years of whipping that devil. Amen. If I were you, I'd make a joyful noise. I'd be loud because the devil needs to hear you. Because you are a beneficiary of these 22 years. And what's happening today does not just uh, uh, portray a celebration of the physical realm, but the spiritual realm as well. And if you came from around the world and touched this altar, this is a place of exchange. It ends here. It ends here. Celebrate your miracle. It ends here. You cannot touch this altar and go back the same. What is it? Is it cancer? You left it here. Is it ill health? You left it here. Is it HIV? You left it here. Barrenness remained right here. Poverty remained right here. You cannot remain the same family. Make a loud noise. Let that devil hear you. Amen. This is the house of miracles. The house of the prophetic. The house of the supernatural. Now on behalf of my spiritual parents, I'd like to welcome you to this momentous occasion of celebrating and honoring the grace of God for 22 years. Hallelujah, hallelujah, make a joyful noise unto the Lord for 22 years of AMI's existence, hallelujah, and for 22 years there's been one man that has been the guardian of this altar, there's been one man that has been appointed to be your spiritual father, celebrate God and let's take this moment to just honor our spiritual father, hallelujah, your father if he is your father make a joyful noise let the heavens hear you thank God for your father hallelujah man of God we just want to say we absolutely love you on behalf of your spiritual sons and daughters from across the world we'd love to say we honor you man of God we absolutely adore you and we thank God for your life amen amen we are truly blessed with the best amen. now for 22 years just like a prophet was appointed. For 22 years, a mother was appointed, amen. Besides our father, 
is a woman of valor, gracefully anointed, the beauty of Hallelujah Ministries International, the First Lady, Bishop Celeste Lucal, a true mother in Zion. Mommy, we absolutely love you. We adore you. Amen. Celebrate our mother family. Hallelujah. We have not forgotten about you online. If you are watching us from all across the world, wherever you are watching us from, we'd like to truly welcome you to this celebration service. If you're watching us on Facebook, remember to like and share this video. If you're watching us on Instagram, tell us where you're watching from. If you're watching us on YouTube, remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Now, if you're worshiping with us for the very first time in AMI, We'd like to take this opportunity to just honor you, rather welcome you, and acknowledge your presence. Therefore, I'd like to encourage you to rise to your feet, worshiping with us for the very first time. Please rise to your feet. We want to welcome you in true AMI style. Come on, family. Come on. Come on. Now, I'd like to encourage you to get a phone from our ashes. Be sure it's completed before you leave, and you are welcome to join this family, because in this family, we win. We never lose. Victory is our portion. Amen. Amen. Our family, it is now time for the announcements. Catch Pastor Alf Lukau live daily for the rise of the prophetic voice where the man of God goes deeper into the word of God from 5 p.m. until 6 p.m. Central African time. This will exclude Fridays and Sundays. Pastor Alf Lukau will also be live daily. This will be Let's Pray, a powerful moment of prayer with Pastor Alf Lukau from 10 p.m. until 11 p.m. Central African time. You can follow our man of God on his Facebook page, Alf Lukau. On Instagram, still Alf Lukau. And on Twitter, the handle is at Alf Lukau. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at Pastor Alf Lukau. Don't forget to click on the bell for notifications on our live services and new videos. Catch Pastor Alf Lukau on these following TV stations. Faith World TV in the United Kingdom, broadcasting both online and on Sky Channel 589 every Saturdays from 7 a.m. until 7.30 a.m. Pastor of Lukau is now on Soweto TV, Channel 251, every Sunday evenings from 6 p.m. until 7 p.m. We also have our own 24-7 TV channel, AMI TV, on the public bouquet, airing all over Africa and Europe 365 days a year. Our service times are as follows. We have our teaching and healing service every Friday from 7 p.m. until 9 p.m. You are invited to come and fellowship with us every Sunday. Join us for our morning glory service, which starts from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Followed by our celebration service, which starts from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m. And lastly, our Holy Ghost service from 1 p.m. until 3 p.m. Hallelujah Ministries International is not a church of members, but a church of disciples. We have home cells held Wednesday evenings from 6.30 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. If you don't belong to any home cell, please either call the office or go to the home cell desk in the foyer on a Sunday. Here is a step-by-step -step guideline on how to make safe online payments to Alan Ulu Ministries International from any country around the globe using your computer, your laptop, your cell phone or any device of your choice. Let's begin. The first step would be to open your web browser. Type in www.alleluluministries.com. This will lead you to Alleluia Ministries International's welcome page. Select the tab written Online Giving, where you will find our three different payment options. Namely, PayPal, NetBank, and lastly, credit card or debit card payment options. For payment via PayPal, click on the PayPal icon, which will redirect you to our PayPal payment page. Insert the amount you wish to transfer and click on the option Donate with PayPal or Donate with Credit Card. If you're paying with your credit card, fill in all your details, your credit card number, and click the box below to confirm that you've read all the information. And finally click on Donate Now. For payments into our NetBank account, use only the banking details on Alleluia Ministries International's website. Our NetBank details are as follows. Account name, Alleluia Ministries International, NPC. Account number, 120-582-7692 Branch code 197005 Swift code N-E-D-S-Z-A-J-J -J. Use your name and surname as reference or use the purpose of your payment as reference. 
For example, tithes, seed offering, prophetic seed, IVP accommodation, or TV ministries. To donate using a credit card or debit card, fill in the information below in detail. Kindly note that payments will be deducted in South African rands. Once all information has been filled in correctly, agree to the terms and conditions by clicking the box on your bottom left corner. Proceed to click on Place Order. Once all payments are made, you will receive an email from Alleluia Ministries International confirming that your payment has been well received. These are our only payment options, and you are advised to take extra caution. Thank you for your time, and may God bless you as we send forth your seed. Beloved, it is time for our offering. Glory, glory, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Woo, there is joy in the house of the Lord. There is joy in the house of the Lord. I'm filled with joy myself. I'm excited. And together we say, God is good. Let, let's make the devil believe that God is good. Hallelujah. Let's do it again. God is good. And all the time. Woo. Woo. What a moment. Thank you so much. God bless you. I just want to greet you all in the name of Jesus. You may be seated. I'm here on a very brief and very straight announcement. And we are really on time. God bless you. Greetings to all in the name of Jesus. Those that are far, those that are nearby, those that are watching us online. To all the pastors, the ministers, the bishops, everyone that serves God. God bless you. Hallelujah. Today is a beautiful day. It's an expensive day. Hallelujah. Expensive because we are all looking just glorious, but because it is the birthday of Alleluia Ministries International. <laughs> Glory. God is indeed a good God. Hallelujah. Just want to take this opportunity to honor the men of God for giving me this opportunity to stand in front of you. I do not take it lightly. It has been many, many years, and I've seen and I see the sacrifice that goes into the altar. I know the value that he himself takes into the altar. So I do not take it lightly. I'm here to receive your tithe and offering. I want you to open your Bibles in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 11. Chapter 11, verse 4. The Bible reads, He who observes the wind will not sow, and he who regards the clouds will not reap. Again, the word of God, he who observes the wind will not sow, and he who regards the clouds will not reap. Hallelujah. This is a very simple, very uh, straightforward verse from a, van, a man that has been uh, a, a, a man that has been given the mandate to take over from his father. He had an encounter with the Lord. His name was King Solomon. But there has never been found one as wise as this man. Wisdom was what he was known for. He wrote many proverbs. And uh, to cut a very long sh story short, he had an encounter with, G with God himself. After he had given God so much, he had an encounter with God. And God asked him, ask me for anything that you desire. And he desired wisdom. Hallelujah. Some of us need wisdom. Some of us need wisdom to build. Some of us need wisdom for what we are going to do next. Some of us need wisdom to see what is the direction direction God has for us and indeed he knew he could go nowhere without wisdom but in his white sayings while he is so wise he makes a statement that is quite interesting and it's written on the Bible and he was speaking about casting giving sowing and reaping and that's where I want to stand today to just minister on sowing and reaping and then I will receive your tithe your offering please I'm not receiving the gift 
the, the prophetic instructive offering that uh, the Father has said we should bring, that will be at your own discretion. You'll come and give it. I'm sure it will be collected as he comes in. I'm just here to receive your tithe, your offering. The Bible says, if he who observes the wind will not sow, meaning that there are many reasons why you should not sow. The devil will take your attention to say, you have so much to do, do not give. Your rent is too high, do not pay. The flight is too expensive, do not come. But that devil is a liar because he knows that within lies your blessing. You will not be blessed if you do not sow. You will not, you will not be able to get what you did not give in. Now the Bible says, he who regards the clouds will not reap. Meaning that when the time of rain comes, you will also not reap. Because there's no, nothing on the ground that you have sowed. There is nothing that you can stand on and say, God, I stand on this leg because of this. Beloved, there are problems in life that will take you out through sowing and reaping. Over this period of times, I saw people that were in trouble, a lot of troubles. Some of them did not even pray. They came to the house of God and say, I'm sowing a seed towards so and so. There are mothers that sow seed towards their children. Their children that are completely in university, they do not know what to do. But when you look for an excuse not to give, you say that this month I'm too tight. I cannot pay my tithe. The devil is after you. When you find a way to say, no, this month I cannot because my medication, just know the devil is after your health. Those are the things that the Bible says. He who observes, meaning those that are too attentive to what they need to do, will never give. But for those that give and sow, when the time comes and the cloud rains, definitely, definitely you will reap. You will reap what God has promised you. Because when rain comes down and the seed is on the ground, you will reap. But for those who do not sow, will not reap. Beloved, giving is a principle. There is no two ways about it. We can pray as much as we want to. But for you to come out of the situation that you want to uh, come out on, the only way out is to give. That is number one. Then the second thing is you give because you love. There is no way you can say, I love you, but you do not give. There's no way, you know, God would not have uh, uh, given us the most perfect example by giving his only begotten son. God gave his best. Are you going to give God your best? That is the question that you need to answer for yourself. Giving is a personal thing. Giving is something that you need to hold on to and say, I'm going to do it in spite of. Sometimes your husband might not know. Sometimes your wife will not know. Sometimes your children will not know. But your God will know. And God will bless you. They might also just be beneficiaries of what you are doing. But God will see what is in your heart. And that good God that we said he, we serve will surely bless you. Hallelujah. I want you to take a worthy offering unto God. And as you are doing your, uh, taking your offering as well, I want you to take your tithe and I want you to present and, and lift up your tithe before God. Some of us are giving online. If you are giving online, there is enough time for you to give unto the Lord. I want you to give your tithe. Be obedient. You will meet God on the other side of obedience, which is abundance. Hallelujah. You will definitely meet God and God will bless you. Now, if you are here, you want to give as well. You want to swipe the swiping machines. The ushers have the possibility to swipe. I want you to take your tithe. I want you to lift it up before God. I want you to take your thanksgiving offering, anything that you have to give unto God that your heart has written. And I want you to lift it before God. And God will bless you. For those that have their own ordinary offering as well, lift it up before the Lord. Let every hand today be lifted. If you are giving from uh, PayPal or from uh, online, I want you to uh, put your, your, after giving, I want you to put uh, connect as well to the screen and just be part of this prayer. 
as we're giving you time to give. Is there anybody still that wants to give unto the Lord this morning? All right, all the hands up. I can just uh, lift and pray and just pray that God may be able to bless you abundantly. May the Lord God Almighty bless you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you, God, for every giver, everyone that is sowing a seed unto you, Lord. Not those that are thinking of sowing, but those that are giving you out of your heart. For indeed, you take pleasure, O oh Lord, in, in, in people that give joyfully. Today, in the mighty name of Jesus, may the blessings of Abraham, Lord, fall upon your sons and your daughters. Those that are giving online may they be blessed we are not observing any winds but we are giving out of our hearts today father for every man of God every woman of God every child of God every young person everyone that has decided to give open the floodgates of heaven for every tither in the house Lord bless them for everyone that is giving unto you oh Lord blessings and blessings may Lord Jesus Christ what they've prayed for in the 40 days of glory be given unto them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray with thanksgiving and all the saints say amen you may give
Welcome to the MJ Show. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. I said, somebody put your hands together for Jesus. I can't hear you. 22 years of victory, 22 years of celebration, 22 years of standing, defending the gospel. Surely you can give God a standing ovation with the loudest clap offering of praise. And if you're online, I want you to join us this morning and just give him a praise. We're not out of time. We're going to give him a praise. Can I hear you praise the Lord? We are glad that the Lord is with us. And today I want to say thank you to our spiritual father for leading us all this way, for walking this journey with us. This has been indeed a journey where God's power has been unprecedented. It has been visible. It has been active in the house of God. Indeed, this is a house of miracles. Just for that, I want you to celebrate Jesus. Make a Holy Ghost noise in the house. He's a good God. He's an awesome God. Well, I want to today thank God for my father for giving me this platform. This is not my platform. This platform belongs to the general overseer and the founder of this ministry. And I'm just so humbled to be able to announce and to proclaim the miracles for as long as I've been here. This has been the voice of the Father that has gone out into the world proclaiming the goodness and the glory of God. I want to also honor my spiritual mother. You look Radiant as always. Somebody celebrate God for our mom. And we're going to go straight into, you know, over the years, I have seen the goodness of God. You may be seated in the house of God. I have personally seen, I have witnessed the power of God being displayed in Alleluia Ministries International. I remember my tender years in this ministry where I literally did not know the Word of God. I'm still learning. It's still progressive. But I have seen the Word of God come to life in and come alive in AMI. I remember if I have the opportunity just to mention vividly what comes to memory when it comes to signs, wonders, and miracles. I remember so many testimonies. I remember when South Africa was hit with a plague of HIV AIDS. And I do know there was a time that South Africa um, had the, the priority place in the world, if I can put it this way, or the highest number of HIV AIDS in the world. And it took me back to the time where the Lord met our father and told him that you will go to the southern hemisphere of Africa and you will go and destroy the plague that will come over that nation. Now, I need you to know that at that time, there was still no plague. But believe you me, HIV AIDS took over. And from this altar, God performed the unthinkable. God performed, according to man and medical science, the impossible. HIV AIDS cases came in, flooded in, and be assured that miracles took place. Of course we were questioned, but who can question the power of God? Who can deny the hand of God in our midst? When you walk with God, indeed God will show up. We are a house of miracles. I have for instance seen my father go to lengths where no one else would go praying for the sick. We came up as the Spirit of God, led the man of God, and came and gave us the healing bay. Oh my goodness. 
cases flooded in. Cancer stage four, cases flooded in. And Jehovah stood up for us. Jehovah came through for us. I'm not sure, but I have so many testimonies. I remember distinctly, we had a testimony from a high-ranking official from Mozambique. Those days in Linders, he came with his tummy swollen up. He was carried on stretcher beds, just like in the days of Jesus, when people... People were carried on mattresses and the man of God walked in and I remember he asked me what is happening here and we gave the case and within seconds as the Apostle Alf Lukau laid his hand on that gentleman, as sure as we saw Jesus raise up the dead, that man stood up and that was one of the most electrifying moments of Alleluia ministry. You too may have your own, but that's just my own account. And I can go on uh, in with numerous testimonies, but I want to know if the media may be just have that testimony where the Father walks in the healing bay or where they can show for us just something. If you have it, you can pull it up for us. We will experience the power of God because we believe in Him. If you trust in Him, you will see Him. No matter your point of need, there is nothing he cannot do. I speak to you of a well-able God. It's called chronic fits then. She loses consciousness. She falls and her body jerks uncontrollably and she wets herself. It happens often according to uh, her sister's report such that she lost her job as a domestic worker because of the fits they said she can't look after the children anymore. A 31 year old lady dad who was involved in a vehicle accident because of the glass in the vehicle it tore her abdomen and she had a disembowelment her, her bowels were outside her intestines everything went out instead her intestines came out all that intestine came out. Intestines were out. She's in a lot of pain. She also had a spinal injury, so her legs are weak. She's got sensation in the legs, but she doesn't have power, so, so it means the ventral part of the spinal cord is affected. And she's not paralyzed because she can still feel, she can move, but she's weak. Yes, yes. so we call it paraparesis, so uh. weakness caused by spinal cord lesion. He's a taxi driver, 39-year-old gentleman. He says uh, while driving, uh, some passengers, the five men in the taxi attacked him. And they attacked him with a steel rod and knives. They broke his left arm. He has a displaced fracture of the, of the left humerus. And they stabbed him in the chest, in the precordial area. So this is the stab wound was here, but you see it's been sutured. They put a urinary catheter. And he says after the catheter was removed, he lost the ability to urinate uh, on his own. He became incontinent. Even now he's wearing uh, something to try and trap the, the, the urine. He's got his baby's napkin, his baby's diaper. So do you believe God can heal you? I believe. She's a caregiver a nurse by, by uh, profession. She was involved in a motor vehicle accident in January last year. She was a, a passenger in the vehicle and she says uh, in the accident she sustained a fracture of four ribs on the right side. Four ribs? Four ribs were broken on the right side. And uh, also a fracture to her thoracic spine. So now she's got constant pain. She, the reason she's sitting like this is that she can't lie down. She's, she's in too much pain when she lies down. And she wears a corset to support her back. This is what she's wearing to support the back? This is, yes, Dan. And she says her husband left her because of the injuries. The husband left because of the injury? Yes, Dan. They've got four kids and he says, she says that he left because he couldn't nurse her. So she's also very depressed and she's also got post-traumatic stress disorder. She says it's part of the reason why it took them so long to come to church 
because every time they try to put her in a vehicle, she screams, she becomes hysterical, and they have to leave her. He was shot in a robbery. The entry wound of the bullet was through the abdomen. Since then, he's become weak, so it looks like the, the bullet might have probably hit the spine because he's weak and he has a very poor sensation in the legs. He couldn't control his bowel and his urine for about three months after the, the robbery. It shows that he had an operation and they cut him from there to there. So he says that the entry wound of the bullet was about here. But, uh, so she, they point here, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I can't say for sure from here. I can still feel the material that they were stitching him with. So it, it looks like he was stitched fairly recently. So this is recent, right? Yes. Because I can see it. Yes, the blue. This blue, this blue thing. Yes. It's, it's a Ask him if he's in pain. Are you in pain, sir? Mm. We can only trust God to be the healer because he is. Yes, he is. Jesus heals. Yes, he, is. he heals through man, but he is the healer. No man can do but through him. I want you and I to trust God for each of these cases. I trust that God will have mercy and compassion. your hand as the man of God is ministering pray a miracle is taking place in the name of Jesus What is this? You say, in pain and in the quest of finding a solution, went to a traditional healer and they did all kind of things to help him. That's why they gave it to him. So this is supposed to be a healthy. But the way I see things is not helping. I think my chain could have helped better. Can we cut it? He says it's not working. You can cut it. You want Jesus now. Please. We're cutting witchcraft that did not work.
something that was like breaking, like Blood sounding like. Blood of Jesus. is clever he can't even speak he's just answering with the movement of his eyes and head he seems to be in a lot of pain and doctor you say that his legs are very weak he's got weakness of the legs dead because of a spinal injury and he's also got loss of sensation in the leg now this we trust in god for a miracle if you are out there join us they trust god it's a miracle waking God. Jesus. Somebody pray along with the man of God. to him. God is restoring him, the man of God is God saying. is restoring. Those of us here, we can feel what is happening. Yes. Put your hands together for God. Walking with no, you can give God the glory. Give Him the glory. Miracles, people coming in sick. Others coming in with ambulances. Others are coming in being carried. And look what God has done. I just want to take this opportunity to know if Dr. Lebo is here. Dr. Lebo, can I invite you to join me? A medical profession professional of note, a lecturer, I, I said I didn't want to do this, a lecturer who's been teaching or lecturing abroad for more than 11 years in the United Kingdom. That's correct. Yeah. For two years, for two years. So put your hands together for Dr. Lebo. We're going to stand. Dr. Lebo, you've seen what God has done. You've been walking this walk with your father. As a medical practitioner with a scientific background, what goes through you every time you see the God of your father manifest in such a manner? Is there any miracle that comes to mind that was shocking or outstanding? My bishop, first of all, uh, thank you very much for your kind introduction. I just want to greet the church. I want to greet my spiritual parents, Pastor Alf Lukau and my Bishop Celeste Lukau. Um, Thank you, Doctor. Okay. Bishop, 
working with my father is just an astonishing journey. It's, it's, mm. it's amazing. It's amazing every time. I, I get goosebumps just uh, thinking about working with him. <laughs> so, um, and to see the grace of God that flows through him is just astonishing, Bishop. Yes. Uh, it's like nothing I've ever experienced before. I've mm. never seen it in anyone else before. My and God. even when I watch videos of other people who do healings, it, it's never on the same level that my father does it. <laughs> so. Put your hands together for Jesus. So, as you know, Bishop, if, you know, if I have to think of um, astonishing things that I've seen, I would say about 90% of them, Bishop, have been astonishing, and we've seen thousands. Yes. Yeah. So, but um, to think of a few that come to mind immediately, um, sure, I can maybe share maybe two or three with you, Bishop. Yes. Um, the first one that comes to mind is the story of a young man that we saw in, in uh, Lind, not in Lindhurst, in Cremerville. Okay. A young man would come from Jamaica. Okay. So I saw him after a Friday service. So he was running behind me and I could hear him saying, doctor, doctor. So I said, yes. And he told me that uh, he'd been here for a week already. And, but that the man of God had not yet located him. Okay. And he told me that uh, he was leaving that, that following Sunday. So two days later, he was, was about to fly back to Jamaica. Yes. And he was pleading with me, saying, please, can uh, Pastor pray for me? Mm. And, uh, of course, I couldn't assure him that, that Pastor definitely would. Yes. Um, so, but I told him, you know, if he, if he just receives the word from the altar, that that would be sufficient to heal him. Amen. But, so he came on the Sunday, and I urged him to come on the Sunday uh, morning. Mm. So while Pastor was prophesying to another lady who would come on behalf of her brother-in-law who had cancer, okay. Pastor was speaking to her, and then he stopped suddenly. And he said, the Lord is showing me something. Mm. And then he, he left. He went from that corner of the church. He walked down the passage, went down the aisle, and he went straight to this young Jamaican lad. Oh, wow. And oh, his, wow. he called him by name. He asked him to stand up. I think many of us probably remember his story. Uh, it was a young man from St. Mary's in Jamaica. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And the uh, pastor t told him that there were 13 witches that were <laughs> ruling over Jamaica, <laughs> or over St. Mary's. Yes. And he was a young man who who'd had a brain tumor. Okay. And had been told that it would, it would not exceed two years' survival. Okay. And... The time that he arrived here was mm. actually the 23rd month after oh, the, the, the after he received Glory that word. Glory to Jesus. Yeah. Mm. So he, he came here expecting death any moment. He was expecting mm. to die any time. Um, pastor spoke to him. He prophesied over him and he prayed for him, and uh, the young man was healed. Right. Glory he was healed. to Jesus. That could have been around... After having received a death report. Yes. Sure. Have. That could have been around 2017 or 2018. I'm not too sure. But um, I've been in touch with him. And I think the last time I spoke to this young man was last year sometime. And he was very well. Oh, glory and, to God. Yeah. God heals. And when he heals, it's permanent. It's permanent, Bishop. Yes. Um, the, the young man, unfortunately, went his own ways. But I think... He then informed me that he had uh, someone who was not well. But so when, when he had a relative who had breast cancer, he knew where to come for yes. healing again. Yes. Glory to Jesus. Isn't that amazing? Just to see, and I need a doctor to be here. Doctor, you under the spotlight all the time. But you know, some people yet see miracles and do not believe. Thank you so much, doctor, for coming to share your view. Put your hands together for the best doctor in the whole world. I want us just to watch a video. There's so many things happening. You can see everything is a bit different today. We are celebrating 22 years. We're not rushing through anything. And God is faithful. But I want to bring to mind that whoever is even in this house today, no matter your sickness, no matter your challenges, God is still here. If the media, I'm not sure if you can... 
pull up this video is just coming to mind of a young woman that came here with her eye gushed out. She had cancer. I'm not sure how many of us could remember if the media is here and if you can just help us show that video for us on the screen. Warning. The following content may be disturbing to sensitive viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders. Acts 5 verse 12. The God of the Bible is indeed alive and at work in the church today through his anointed servants. His supernatural power and blessings are evident in Alleluia Ministries International as miracles are experienced daily by all who believe. She tells me that she's had cancer of the right eye right, since January last year and the eye ball was removed because of that. So you mean she does not have that eye? Yes, so we yeah. remove it. That's correct, Pastor. Uh -huh. So there's no eye on, on the right side. Okay. And she says that, uh, but since December last year, mm -hmm. the left eye, the remaining eye, has lost vision. And she's now blind in the left eye. Could it be that cancer is uh, going to the other eye? It's, it's possible, Papa. It's possible. Yes. So now she is blind. I can see her with a stick. Satan has targeted this woman to destroy her life with cancer of the eye. She has gone through pain untold. Last year, doctors decided to completely remove the cancer-affected eye, hoping to prevent it from spreading. Her entire eyeball was removed. A few months after the right eye was removed, she started experiencing the same old pain with her remaining eye, until she could not see through it anymore. Her remaining eye turned blind, her situation was horrible. Her pain was unbearable. She was miserable and beaten. But in her suffering, she decided to seek the Lord. She came to Alleluia Ministries International that Pastor Elf Lucar may pray for her. She had seen many people receive their healing and miracles through the man of God. So she activated her faith to also receive hers. I am believing God with everybody here that something will happen to you. Lord. Cancer has eaten one eye and is eating the other one. You see, since December, she can't see. When was this eye removed? Seven August 2021. So they removed it in 7 of August. Completely removed. Yes. It's then in December, it's giving you problems. Sanation, operation. Then in December, started the sisters and this and in january it becomes blind the kid and see okay so i'm afraid to test they are going to remove it again they will not remove it again and then this problem stops now jesus oh jesus christ you are lord and savior our faith is in you our eyes are turned to you we believe that what men cannot do you are god and will do you are faithful you are merciful. You are compassionate. You are almighty. Heal again. Manifest your glory that your people may praise your holy name. Jesus! Jesus! We receive a miracle! Look what the Lord has done!
something miraculous has happened, Pastor. As the woman received her miracle of sight, this woman who was carried in, she said for three years she had to be pushed, she had to be carried around. But look what the Lord is doing. Receive your miracle. Just believe in Him. He loves you. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arthur Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arthur Lukau on all social media platforms at Arthur Lukau. Glory to Jesus. Somebody make a Holy Ghost noise in the house. God is worthy to be praised. The woman came in with one eye eaten up by cancer and the other one affected. But did you see the beautiful part of this miracle? Somebody else got the healing at the same time. I don't know about you what you came in the house of God for. We've seen this weekend great miracles. Receive your own miracle. We've seen the blind see even this weekend. We've seen people jumping from wheelchairs. The power of God is in the house. Are you now ready for the MJ show? Don't be jealous. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you have just watched this video of this woman that has gone through this turmoil, may I introduce to the world the woman in person. Can you welcome her? Can you welcome her? I can't hear you, AMI. Give God the glory.
my goodness. I want to give you another hug. Thank you, Jesus. This is the picture that has to break the internet. Please have a seat. You two may have a seat. I am speechless. Oh my goodness. What happened? I can say, I can say, this is Hallelujah Ministry for sure. This is Hallelujah Ministry for sure. Amen. Amen. Oh my goodness. First of all, you look, this is just God. This is Lord. This is the hand of God. Yes. Take us through. Did you see yourself in that video? Yes. Did you recognize yourself on that video? Oh my goodness. Just let the mic. Tell us, take us through your journey. How did you come to know AMI? I'm going to allow you to speak. I know when I went through this interview, I was speechless for almost an hour. I had nothing to say to her. I even at one stage wondered if there's a twin sister because the transformation is just all God. Tell us what happened. First of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank God who introduced me, our Father, Alpha. Amen. I can say, you who do praise and worship in church, you are doing well. Was God who going to pay you tomorrow? Amen. Amen. I can say amen to praise and worship there. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for showing me the road to come, showing me the way, mm. showing me the man of God. Oh God. Our Father, Alpha, Amen. Mm. Uh, in short, I would like to say, if you remember me, I come here 2022 in June. I get operated in August 2021. Then December, I come to see some stars. January, I can't see at all. Uh, it was very painful, discriminated, family, uh, you know, children were just asking me what happened. Some they say, did, did your husband beat you? Ha, it was a very tough situation. Mm. I want to thank God. Amen. By the day I came here, I said, this is my day. But I came, I said, I think somewhere, somewhere there. My prayer was, hey, can men of God see me? Mm. Many, your morning service, you go say, ah, I left. God, see me. I was singing with the press and worship is there. I was in pain because I can't see. While on my childhood, on my youth time, I was singing in the church. But God, how am I going to sing in the church in the situation like this? Mm. I want to thank God. If you do these things on situation, God will pay you back. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mm. I want to thank God that I go several times for retest, retest. I go for review. They said you have to go to therapy, you know. I, they want to, to eye therapies for cancer. I go there, they said, ah, you, you don't have cancer. We don't need you here. After, wait, 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 wait. Yes. So that was after the man of God prayed for you. After a man, a man of God prayed for me. My God. The stress was, so what am I going to do with this? Cancer mm. is going to spread all the aid. But what I want to tell you is you, you must have faith when the man of God praying for you. I was having confidence that this prayer healed me. Because what happened the day he prayed for me, I saw the angels flying over there. Glory I to did Jesus. not see, I did not see the father. He was like something. But the angels were celebrating him today. That is the time I fell down. Mm. I did not understand that. I may see may, what is happening. You know, it was a surprise to see the whole crowd like this. <sighs> I said, thank God. <sighs> I touched Your myself. Opened. You could begin to see. Yeah, I, I started to begin to see. But it was a surprise. Mm. <sighs> when I, I opened my eyes, you know, the men of God, there were some, some, some angels. Please don't pray with that man. 
Don't pray with that man. Even when I go home, I prayed, God, I need to go back with my testimony. He told me, you lady, you're going to come back with your testimony. Mm. I said, I receive, and now I'm here. I come back with your testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. Your clap offering is looking for my trouble. She came with cancer with the one eye that was eaten out. Maybe I must repeat it. The one eye was eaten out. The other eye was under threat of having cancer affecting it. And it was blind. You couldn't, she couldn't see. Amen. And she said, when she, the man of God prayed, she began to see angels over this place. Yes. That was the restoring of a restoration of a sight. And she says, don't play with the man of God. I'll like that one. Amen. Amen. And now you are here. Amen. Don't rumor about the man of God. He is a true man of God. Jesus. Now I have the recently, my recently results. I said I have to go there with my results. I go in January for tested everything, HIV, cancer. So you were also HIV positive? Yes. And now I've come with my Jesus. Results. No, no, no. You've got to give God praise. Amen. You've got to give this God praise. Let, let me hold it up for you. She was at the same time. Oh, the devil oppressed you. Amen. But he lost the battle. Amen. He lost the battle. Amen. Your case may look so bad. Amen. Cancer. Eye eaten out. The other one went blind. Yes. The devil was on your case, but you are here to give devil God glory. Your Amen. eyesight was restored. Amen. You are HIV negative. Yes. What else happened? Hi. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's our God of miracles. I think you can see God of miracles. I was in poverty life, but with this situation, I can tell you that I'm rich. <laughs> Jesus, you can see it all over a complete, complete transformation. I cannot have a car, I cannot have a house, but I can tell you that I'm rich. Amen. Glory to Jesus. <laughs> what would you like to say to somebody out here? You were challenged in every way, you look beautiful, by the yes. way. God has restored everything. Somebody out there, somebody watching us right now, may be going through so much, may be tormented with one sickness and the other. Amen. God has done it for you. How can you encourage somebody? As I was sitting there, watching the movies, you were watching me. What you have to say when you are seated there, you are not feeling well. I, I'm going to say, receive the anointing. Receive the anointing where you are sitting there. You must have the faith that you are going to be healed in this house. You are going to be healed even to watch in the videos. I can say, be healed in the name of Jesus. In our name of our Father, Alpha, you have faith when even he is coming here. Even if, if, he, is, if he is preaching, you have to pray that God connect me with this man. I want to thank you. Amen. Glory to God. Put your hands together for Jesus. We can continue, but we don't have the time. I'm just so blessed. I'm overwhelmed. This is what God does. 22 years of wonders. For those who believe, signs, miracles, and wonders shall follow you. She's giving an advice. She says, if you're on the other side, trusting God, believe as the man of God comes in, believe in the anointing that is upon his life and you too will receive your miracle. Thank you so much. You're looking so stunning. <laughs> Keep your miracle. She, by the way, she sings in the praise and worship where she is going to as a church. Continue serving God. God bless you. From me, Bishop Jay from the MJ Show. Shalom. Oh
Emmanuel has done it again. Oh. Emmanuel has done it again. Oh. I have come to testify. He has done it again. Emmanuel has done it for me and you. straight into testimonies we're running behind but the testimonies are just mind-blowing Estina take us through your testimony my name is Estina Stein uh, I just want to say to greet the men of God the men of this house the men of the altar in the name of Jesus my testimony goes like that in 20, 20, 2019 I was here with my mother here is my mother she was having ulcers and the legs pain so it's come the pastor locate me when he locate me my mother is she is healed right away she was healed of ulcers she was healed so put your hands together for right Jesus away. And also my mother, my father took an, uh, another wife and put in my mother's house. And that, that woman, she, she didn't come to confess, so she just passed away in October. It was on 15, it was on 15 March when I, went, I came here with my mother and my brother, Pastor Zachariah. Glory he to Jesus. He ordained as a pastor. Right now he's a pastor. Yes, yes. I can I just step in I remember she's speaking so fast I remember the father prophesied on you yes. he called you out yes. how many of you guys can remember the testimony and the man of God also spoke about your brother in that yes. testimony yes and the big testimony is about my children no let us go to the brother okay. what was it what did the father say okay uh, the, the man of God said to me I am imparting you and I just want to thank God I have graduated as a pastor. And oh, at that time you were not yet a pastor? I was in school. You were in school yeah, and the father said I was a student you, were, you were a student at school, okay? Yes. And uh, since then I began to see the glory of the Lord. That year I, was, I got married, I waited, and I did so lot of things that my brother did, never did in my life. Hey! He got married after the prophecy. He became a pastor ordained, and he said he can do what no brother could ever do in his family. Put your hands together for Jesus. Keep your miracle. God bless you. Put your hands together. Good morning. Take us through your testimony. Good morning, Bishop. Good morning, Pastor JP. Good morning, sir. How are you? <laughs> Welcome to test. Good morning, church. <clears throat> My name is Jaina Durgam. People know me as Jay. I'm originally from India. Hallelujah. Well, in 2019, uh, we visited uh, uh, IVP for the first time. 
and uh, we were in confusion of what what next in our life we have because we we didn't know what was happening with us then our father prophesied over my life saying uh, god is opening a door to the united kingdom within 3 months we we were in united kingdom in just three somebody months somebody celebrate jesus wait 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 <laughs> Well, just as Bible says in Genesis chapter 12, when Abraham went to the land of milk and honey, there was severe drought there. And we were in the United Kingdom in 2020, there were COVID. COVID started and there was lockdown all over, right? And name the industry, it was all shut down. So we had no food to eat. We ran out of money. And then in that point of time, what did I do was, I, I did just as what father taught me fast and pray so i took a seven days of dry fast and prayed to the god of alf lukau now exactly on the fourth day it was on 22nd of march 2020 during the celebration service our father was live and god again spoke to our father about me and he said my son in united kingdom i see god is telling me that you ran out of money and then that was that that's how i was located again and then God provided everything for me after that. And just before a week, I came for the IVP, this IVP. I got an email from the Home Office in the United Kingdom that I've been granted visa until 2028. That means after that, I can apply for the citizenship. Somebody Hallelujah. put your hands together. So I would like to uh, thank our parents, uh, Pastor Alf Lukau and Bishop Seraph Lukau, and three special people. Uh, number one is Pastor Lelo from the United Kingdom. Glory to Jesus. Very humble man of God. And uh, I'd like to thank Pastor Simba. And, fi and finally, my precious sister, Sister Sarita Joshi, who's sitting there. So all these three Glory people play, played a key role in the testimony, in the prophecy that our Father has prophesied over my life. Hallelujah. Glory to God Jesus. God bless you. Hey. God bless you. God bless you. Good morning. Hi. How are you doing? Take us through your testimony. Good evening. Good, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Um, I'm so excited to be here meeting Bishop Jackie. <laughs> My mother's been coming to uh, this church from 2017. She's been in IVP six times. So the seventh time she decided to bring me here. I couldn't conceive and I've been going to like, many gynees. And, um, you know, working in a medical institution, I work in a hospital, people were like, but why can't you fall pregnant? You work at doctors and nurses and I just, so I, me and my partner, just, we, want, we decided no, let's adopt because we lost two babies. So we were about to adopt them. My mother said, no, let's have faith. Let's go to a pastor or pastor Elf Lukau. Let's fly from Kaiser in two cents and having faith and going, going there and take your faith. Take your baby there, having faith. So I sat in IVP and Bishop Jackie was preaching and she said, all those that are having miscarriages, touch your womb. So I touched my womb, I was sitting in the crowd and having faith, I just felt like the Holy Spirit, something warm coming through my body and two months later, I fell pregnant with Elijah. And no celebrate Jesus. And, and then baby Mikhail. So I just want to thank God for having faith and just to thank God and tell people out there that there is hope. Don't give up. People that are married, there is hope. Just have faith in God. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Jesus. Celebrate. You have done it again, Jesus. Yeah. In your special way, what was impossible, you made possible, Jesus. Yeah. Ooh, Jesus. Yeah. You have done it again, Jesus. Yeah. 
In your special way, what was impossible, you made possible, Jesus, yeah. Ooh, Jesus, yeah, Jesus, yeah. You have done it again, Jesus, yeah. In your special way, what was impossible, you made possible, Jesus, yeah. Oh, Jesus, yeah, Jesus, yeah. You have done it again, Jesus, yeah. In your special way, what was impossible, you made possible, Jesus, yeah. Emmanuel has done it for me and you. Emmanuel has done it again.
Amen. Wow, wow, wow. Woo! What a sight to behold, what a sight to behold. I love you, AMI, my family. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, sons and daughters of God, to what I can only describe as the Sunday of increase, of blessings, of miracles. Family, we welcome you to the house of miracles, the house of wonders. In this IVP, we've seen wonders, we've seen miracles that the mind cannot explain. It is such an honor and privilege to be before you here today. You know, you know, family, as we've seen the 40 days of fasting come to a close, all I can say is truly, surely, the God of Alpha Lakao will meet you at the point of view. Family, please put your hands together and help me honor our most graceful spiritual mother, the beautiful Bishop Celeste Lukau. Hey, don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. I love you, mommy. But before we can connect to our altar, before we can receive what God has planned for us, join me, ladies and gentlemen, with a loud noise in honoring our Father, our man of God, Pastor Alfred Khan. So ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are right now in the world, wherever you're watching from the globe, wherever you're in, if you're in the auditorium in the overflow, May you connect your faith to receive what the Lord has planned for you today. You know, it was beautiful seeing the man of God laying hands on all the young people, the young, anointed youth of AMI. Truly, it was a sight to behold. I truly believe that this generation will be groundbreaking. With that being Whoa. said, I implore you to join us in welcoming AMI's children's ministry. Amen. foundation Christ, engineered to conquer the world for Jesus through evangelism and outreach, firmly structured through discipleship and home cells, our pillars being love, submission, commitment, and holiness. Everything we do is centered on the Word of God. Building, building, building. AMI. Family planted across and across the world. Rooted in South Africa, branching in Angola, Namibia, America, UK, India, France, Japan. Jamaica and all across the world. Building, building, building. AMI, one body. 
together, our hospitality team to welcome you home, our ushers to ensure your comfort. With the worship team, we enter the heavenlies. Children's Ministries, nurturing, nurturing our children in the ways of the Lord. Cleaning, depa cleaning department. Cleaning department. Perfectly polishing our sanctuary for great works to come. Alsa, the ultimate gatekeepers. Ensuring order in our Jerusalem. The media team, our very own digital evangelist. Three, two, one. The AMI 12, carrying the vision for the future. Not forgetting our mother, the precious rose of our garden. Our father, fearlessly, prayerfully, and spiritually guarding the altar with consistency. like a flood, but we keep building. They press us down, but we keep building. Discouraged, we keep building. We work together. We keep building! <laughs> 22 years later, we are strong and still standing. We are prophetic, we are apostolic, we are If you call my name, I will 
of Lugao. My name is Josiah Prince. First of all, I want to give honor to my spiritual parents, Alf Lugao and Bishop Celeste Lugao. May God continue to prosper you and may you always go up and never down. I am a part of AMI Caribbean from the Bahamas and my leader is Minister Delphine. When I was sleeping, I dreamt that I had like $700 or so in my wallet. Now, upon waking up, I did not remember the dream at first. So I began praying and praying and then the dream hit me. And then I said, hold on, let me check. So going to my wallet, I know I, I already had $250 inside. I checked, I checked. I saw an extra $50 note inside my wallet. They were all in 50s, but I knew I only had five $50 notes. I saw an extra one. So I got confused, I was like, hold on. Did anybody put money in my wallet when I wasn't looking? So I asked my sister, she said no. I asked my mother, she was on her way to work. She said no. So I just, all I could have done was look up to God and say hallelujah, thank you God, because this is miracle money, this is like, so amazing now someone may say oh that's just fifty dollars but look at your hand and just you yourself try to make fifty dollars out of nothing that it, our god is amazing and i just want to give thanks and honor and just i'm lost for words right now so i'm just <laughs> grateful thank you greetings 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 ami my name is gianita and i am sending my testimony from the United States, from Texas. And my testimony goes like this. I work for a company where I cannot say the name Jesus. So my managers all know the employees that's there. They all know that I'm a Christian and they know that I'm always praying. And during these 40 days of prayer and fasting, I have really been picking up my prayer life so on my lunch breaks, I normally stay back and pray at my desk. So apparently, I guess praying at my desk might be a problem for some people because my management was told that someone could hear me praying at my desk. So my manager pulled me to the side and just basically told me that, you know, someone noticed that I was praying at my desk and a result from that is that my manager and my upper manager decided to give me my own prayer room. So what the devil meant for evil, God turned it around for good because in a company where I cannot say the name Jesus because it's against their policies, they actually turned around and gave me my own personal prayer room. Glory to Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Greetings, AMI family. My name is Mary from AMI Boston in the USA. I want to give honor to my Heavenly Father and acknowledge my spiritual parents, Pastor Alf Lucao and Bishop Celeste. I'd like to share with you a quick testimony. Last Thursday, February the 8th was my birthday and I was talking to one of my sisters about not being sure if I could attend the IVP due to financial challenges. On Friday, I was watching the teaching and healing service where Pastor Alf declared that there would be a 48 hour miracle. And on Saturday, when I was celebrating my birthday with my family, they surprised me and they purchased my IVP tickets, airlines and everything. So I wanna give God all the praise and honor for this miracle, shalom and multiple front breakthroughs. Hallelujah. May we all rise. My prayer every day Papa don't let them mask Don't let them mask Where is my God? Ooh, my prayer every day Jesus don't let them mask don't let them ask Where is my God? When I'm going through tests and trials While I'm waiting for you to answer Papa, don't let them ask Where is my God? 
so my prayer every day Jesus don't let the mask no don't let the mask where is my God and I promise I'll live my life in the way that they will never say where is my God while I'm waiting for you to answer when my situation hasn't changed Papa don't let the mask where is my God so my prayer is Yes, Lord. Yahweh, don't let them ask. Where is my God? For I've seen your mercy. And I've felt your mercy. And I've known your mercy. How can I ever repay? I have seen your mercy I have felt your mercy I have known your mercy Father, I thank you I have seen your mercy I have felt your mercy I have known your mercy How can I ever repay I have seen your mercy I have felt your mercy I have known your mercy Father, I thank you
in you I have confidence in you I have confidence in you Jesus Jesus I have confidence in you Jesus Jesus I have confidence in you
your presence Let it rain Pour your rain Let it fall on me We're in your presence Let it rain Pour your rain Let it fall
are great. You are great. Lord, you are great. You are.
forsake you. Amen. I shall be with you every day till the end. He is God. He is awesome. He is trustworthy. Amen. Words that proceeds out of his mouth will always come to pass. I receive it. No matter what you go through, looking unto Jesus, the author, the finisher, of our faith. He is God all by himself. Highly exalted above the circle of the earth. My God. When God says yes to something, no one can say no, no. to it. When he opens a door, mm. no one can shut it. Oh God. God is able well able Amen. to turn water into wine to stretch his hand and stop the flow of the water and make a way out of no way God is able to look at what was dead and bring it back to life oh Lord I just have a feeling that this day will not go by before Everyone under the sound of my voice receive a bigger deposit of what was prophesied. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. Lift your hand as high, as high, as high as you can get. Why do you do so? You at home, in our branches, at work, wherever you may be, you are online. What God is doing here is doing it where you are. Don't be expected to participate in what God is leading. Today is significant in many fronts. And the heaven does not permit you to miss what he has for you. As you lift your hand as high as you can get, say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Don't pass me by. Don't pass me by. Bring in me. Bring in me. Your grace and your power. Your grace and your power. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Do not pass me by. Do not pass me by. Bring in me. Bring in me. 
your grace and your power. Your grace and your power. I receive it by faith. I receive it by faith. My life will never be the same again. My life will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now if you can give Jesus Christ the loudest praise you have. Lord. the glory connect to the altar and follow the, the prophetic. prophetic the prophetic will always lead you well amen the navigation system of God that allows those who were lost to find a way is in the prophetic only when you have direction, you get to destiny. Once lost, facing the wrong, the wrong direction, your effort of walking or running will lead you elsewhere. God spoke that we should do this as a prophetic act and we all understood the importance of this prophetic act pray present to God what you have in your heart be in covenant with God in every single thing in partnership with God Oh God, I have applied for a position and I know it is your will. Right now, I'm praying the prayer of faith with a prophetic act. God, this knee has always given me an issue. I have prayed fasted, poured oil on it, but today I am praying differently with a prophetic act. A prophetic act is prophetic. It is not an exchange, it's symbols that brings power. I have seen this in my life and I share what I've experienced. Great battles are won when you know what to do when you have to do it. Lift your hand again but this time before I receive the prophetic Act of those of you who are here, ushers, I want you to get ready. We we'll do it very quickly. And that those of you who are online, this is the most spiritual time, one of the great spiritual time. We have many great spiritual time today, so it is one of them. I want you to begin to present to God the thing for which you want to do this prophetic act. Take a moment and speak to God online, wherever you are. Don't just give. This is no day of contribution. It is not just fundraising. It is a personal thing. Somebody is about to change address. Somebody is about to change levels. I receive it. God is about to turn a life completely around. I receive. A ministry is about to blossom today. In the name of Jesus. Now, lift your hand and take your minute and speak to God. Uh, uh, mention that. Mention 
the reason of your prophetic act. What they say you don't have, I decree, I declare you will have. What was said will never come your way, I decree. I decree, I declare. It's yours today. Even in your old age, you will carry your child. Now hear this. Yes, then the IVP I shared with you a prophetic act as Elisha was at the end of his journey. The king came to see him and he gave him an instruction. He said, take a ball and take arrows. He said, open the east window and shoot. He did that. That was just prophetic. Then he said to him, now shoot to the ground. And he shot and he shot and he shot. The Bible says, Elisha got, the man of God got angry and said, why did you shoot only three times? You could have done this five to six times. Now your victory will be restricted to the three times. The victory that's supposed to happen out there was locked in what he was doing prophetically in the room with the man of God. And the message was simple. The prophetic act is a make or break. The prophetic act is often the change in the miracle that you will see as you walk out of this place. I receive it. And the message was also that the prophetic act has to be done all out. He said, why did you do it only three times? You should have done it more. When it comes to something so spiritual and so direct, don't refrain yourself. Don't say, oh, I'm just doing it now. Do it all out. When you pray for that, and you come with your prophetic act as you're giving, it should be significant to you. For if it's not significant to you, it will never be significant to God. Amen. As we remain in the spirit of worship, now that you have prayed, the ashes will pass and collect your giving. And that those of you online, you have the applications on the screen, the banking details and the applications. Please begin to use it. Do it prayerfully. Do it in God. And I bless you as you do so. Today, I brought myself. I am your sacrifice. I am more than a song. Today, I brought myself. I am your worship. I am more than a song. Today, I brought myself. I am your sacrifice. I have more than a song today. I brought myself. I am your worship. Receive this living sacrifice. I am your worship. I am your worship. 
ask us to do we have to have faith that God will do for every one of us our loved ones that we are acting on what is he will do I have faith Jesus. I believe God and together we will see his goodness and his glory sensing what I'm sensing are you feeling what I'm feeling wherever you are either seated standing kneeling down for the next few minutes just few minutes let's pray let's seal it we church the praise Almighty God, Almighty God, King of glory, awesome Savior,
menyadari Come and do What only you can do Jesus Christ ladies and gentlemen something big is about to happen today for somebody I receive it. someone who has been praying someone who has uh, tested his faith and say I will go to my altar the Lord your God will meet you at the point of your need today in I the name of Jesus, Jesus. I just sense in the Holy Ghost that God has remembered somebody who has been in tears for long. Your God will wipe away your tears. I will see. He will cause you to begin a new page. Amen. So shall it be for you in the name of in the Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I speak now, in the name of Jesus. I command every diabolical spirit of confusion, every stubborn spirit of unbelief, to leave this place, to live your life now. Of Jesus. I speak in the name of Jesus. Amen. Spirit of the living God, come, feel this place. Glorify Jesus. May Jesus alone be exalted Slow. in this place. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Under the unction of God. 
established by God as a servant. I provoke the manifestation of your miracle today in the name of I Jesus. Oh God, do what only you can do. Yes, Lord. Give what money cannot buy. Yes, Lord. What material things cannot produce. May heaven open and may his miracle, may his blessing Jesus. come on all of you today. I in the name of Jesus. Jesus. If you are here under the sound of my voice, I want you to know you might as well begin to rejoice because God will do it for you. I Ever said before it could not be done I'm here to say it shall be done I receive it whoever said before it is impossible hear me under the grace of God it is possible in the name of Jesus God will do it for you today I receive it I say God will do it for you today I receive can somebody receive it and shout I receive it I What the Lord has said for you, nobody can take. I believe. If you may please have a seat, I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. I am just bubbling because I sense that there is a new grace, a new anointing. Thank you, Jesus. I have a feeling that God has given us a new chapter in life. We will begin to see clearly the before and the after. I sense in the Holy Ghost that God wants you to take a different turn. And from this day forward, He will take us in a place He set for us, a place we have never been before. Thank you, Jesus. A place where we will see His goodness and glory. A place where the turnaround will be our everyday I testimony. A place of abundance, a place of prosperity, Jesus. a place of always winning and never losing. A place where God gives you total victory I receive it you celebrated other people before this time they will celebrate you in the name of Jesus you applauded for others before this time they will applaud I for you I receive it Oh my God, will cause men to roll a red carpet for you. For God is remembering you. You are entering into a season of reward. Jesus. A season of harvest. The things that you have seen and saw before. God is allowing you a time where you harvest it. I In the name of Jesus. Wipe away your tears for so you will not cry again. Wipe away your tears because God has Remembered you. Thank you, Jesus. The summer has been expecting that this year you will not make it. They say you will die this year. They have been already orchestrating your downfall, your death. But I'm here to say the devil is a liar. He is a liar. This year you will have health this year you will have strength this year you will expand this year you will grow this year you will take over this year you will go where you have not been this year you win i say this year you win in the name of jesus they lose oh yes you win they lose, they lose. you win 
they they lose. lose. I'm saying it. You win. They, they lose. lose. I say you win. They lose. they lose. I'm prophesying. You win. I will say that. They lose. They lose. I'm imposing this in your life above your situations and circumstances. I say this year, come winds or high water, you win. They lose. They lose. There must be a winner and oh, a loser, yes. and uh, you will not be the loser. The Lord be for you who can be against you. I decree and I declare, you win. They lose. They lose. As I speak to you, I am seeing God solving a problem at work. Somebody has been oppressed by an issue. And you do not know if it will favor you, meaning the decision will favor you or not. Yeah, I decree, I declare, you win. They lose. They lose. The hand of God is working out what was prophesied from this altar Thank in you, your Jesus. life. The word of God came to you and God is giving it form and shape. I, I decree, I declare, you win. They lose. They lose. Hallelujah. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. In the name of Jesus Christ, please be seated. It is uh, with a great joy that uh, we seize the opportunity given to us by God in this day to worship Him, to give Him glory. We will go through the Word of God. We will pray and we will celebrate what the Lord has done for AMI. Oh, yes. Now I want to thank god for those of you who came from far i want to thank god for those of you who came for the ivp and i understand that uh, there are those here who may have not necessarily registered to be part of the ivp you were not aware that that is a program to help you but uh, you still made it here in the house of god i salute you may god glorify his name in your life in jesus name all our pastors uh, who lead branches uh, across the world, especially those who are here physically now. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you and thank you from me. The same way, I want to say thank you to all our pastors, especially those who right now are watching us live, wherever you are. May God see you and may God reward you. Amen. The Lord is with us, and because of his presence, he will keep on lifting us higher and higher. I want to greet the bishops that are here. May the Lord bless you for your labor, your commitment, your devotion to the call. Amen. It is always awesome to have her here looking extremely beautiful, our mother, Hallelujah. Bishop Celeste Lucas. Glory to Jesus. The Lord bless you. Please be seated. Everyone is a VVIP, a very, very important person. And if I have to mention all of you, I will do more than just mentioning your name. I will come and give you a hug. But allow me, ladies and gentlemen, sons and daughters of God, for the sake of the moment, to at least mention one or two or three that have come and mean a lot to me, to the ministry, and to all of us. All the way from the Republic of Zambia, a man that I have admired. The first time I saw him, I gave him his word. The very first time. 
God has been molding him. He has devoted his life for the cause of the Zambian people, trying his best. He has played a great role in previous government. And till today, in God and for Zambia, he keeps on soldiering on. Present here is Honorable Harry Kalaba and his precious wife. May the Lord bless you. Lord, we to Jesus. God bless you. Amen. I see you. The Lord bless you. We're supposed to be in India because India is a part of us. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The flags of India are everywhere. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Is a counselor, right? You, you, you counselor or some. You, you a counselor or in which state? Beautiful. Glory Keep to Jesus. Keep on serving people of India in that position, and God bless you. And this is on the first IVP. My precious son and daughter who have been next to me, close to me, completely dedicated. In every IVP from many, many, many years ago, they have been there. I remember the first time the Lord spoke to me about my son. It was a word of prophecy. And God gave a word. It was a group all the way from India. From that day, the Lord kept us together. It is always awesome to have here my precious son, Ruan, and my daughter, Levita, would you stay? Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. All you get from me is love. God bless you. Love you. Every time I've mentioned him, every single time, I had people say, we love him. This has not started today. It is a routine of uh, presenting and honoring uh, what the Lord has given us. Africa, we are blessed. Oh, yes. I want you to understand that uh, every time God gets ready to bless you, he will send you somebody. <laughs> the kind of people around you will determined whether blessings are coming or curses are coming for whenever time the devil want to destroy somebody he will also raise a person that's right. if a nation is led by people who are not appointed by god good will not manifest but when you have people who are part of a nation in various positions active or in an honorific position those who have influence those who have a legacy inside our countries those who are still driving the agenda of people and are of god led by god aligned by god such a nation will keep on going higher and higher this is the reason ladies and gentlemen i always take time to honor my precious son and my daughter all the way from Nigeria, Mrs. and Mr. Borough Office. Glory to Jesus. God will do even more in this season with you. Receive it. God, I have spoken, will do even more. Now, for as you go, you will begin to see men and women coming to you. 
they're coming to get wisdom direction advice and strategies for that the lord has a poor oil to rule on you Thank may the lord bless you bless your children Receive bless it. your family and Amen. bless everything that your hand finds to do in jesus name Amen. god bless you i would not just go on without honoring again my precious excellency is an excellency because it is not just by title by nature by character by charisma he's working and his contribution in the republic the democratic republic of congo is what i call significant we celebrated his birthday just here yesterday i want to welcome them again the siela family Papa Sai and Mama Rosette, please stand up. Hallelujah. Bless you. you. Hear me. Man may lead you wrong, never God. God will never lead you wrong. Amen. Man may disappoint you, never God. God will never disappoint you this year. The Lord will fulfill that which it. He gave you. Name of Jesus. I provoke it in the name of Jesus. Lift your hand, everybody. Wave to God. Jesus. May the Lord bless you as you do so. I receive it. My precious in the Lord, in this day, the Lord will want you to know that He has something for you. It is something that God want to deposit in your life, pour in your life. And he has sent me today in a short time to present you what he want to do for you. God want to give somebody the anointing to rule. I receive it. <laughs> Jesus. So as we go through this word, I want you to pay attention because... It is a spiritual moment and something powerful will be deposited on you as you hear the word of God. Take note that in the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. The Lord said, he has sent his word and his word has healed them. Mm. When you hear the word and accept the word, what the word carries manifests in your life. This time is not time for information only. It is time for transformation. I will see. So as you hear the word of God, open your heart, allowing the word of God to work the will of God in you. You will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus. Those who yesterday thought knew you, they will not recognize you. I will say. God is about to pour in you something nobody before you ever had. Jesus. Something that I will bring you to a place of distinction every side. As you receive it today, it shall manifest in your life. The devil like it or not, in, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Read with me, if you may, from the first book of Samuel, chapter 16. We read from verse 1 to verse 14. At the count of three, let's read. One, two, and three. Now the Lord said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and go. I'm sending you to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided myself a king among his sons. And Samuel said, how can I go? If Saul hears it, he will kill me. But the Lord said, Take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Then invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show you what you shall do. You shall anoint for me the one I named to you. 
So Samuel did what the Lord said and went to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Do you come peaceably? And he said, Peaceably I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. Then he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. So it was when they came that he looked at Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. So Jesse called Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel. And he said, neither has the Lord chosen this one. Then Jesse made Shama pass by, and he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Thus Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel, and Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen these. And Samuel said to Jesse, Are all the young men here? Then he said, there remains yet the youngest, and there he is keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and bring him, for we will not sit down till he comes here. So he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy, with bright eyes and good looking. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is the one. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel arose and went to Ramah. But the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. And a distressing spirit from the Lord troubled him. The anointing to rule. You will rule. Everywhere you go, God is about to give you a different aura. I receive it. The kind of grace that helps you go beyond what limits others. Quickly, Saul was king, the first king of Israel. He became king because Israel did not want to be without a physical leader. They wanted to be just like any other kingdom. They wanted a king. Having God alone was not enough. So God permitted them to have what they desired. It is called the permissive will of God. It was not what God initially wanted for them. But God made room for them. The word says, as he took the reign over Israel, a great king he was, he turned his back on God. He began to look to himself. He built himself a monument. And even when God has given him strict instruction against the Amalekite for because the Amalekite had stood against Israel when Israel in his weakness went out of Egypt. They ambushed them. 
It is in that battle that God caused Moses to pray the prayer he prayed with his hands up while Joshua, Yeshua, meaning Yahweh saves, was on the battlefield of fighting. After the victory, the Lord has spoken that day and said, Write it down that I will blot out from under heaven the Amalekite. Yes. It was serious for God. Saul, given the commandment, the right commandment, the direct instruction to execute everyone from the Amalekite, he decided to do it differently. He broke covenant. Hear me. Whoever breaks covenant has dug his grave. Irrespective of how long it takes for such calamity to happen, never break covenant. Amen. There is a ministry in heaven. It's called the ministry of replacement. If you understand this, you will live fearing God. For you begin to understand that no matter how beautiful you are, how good you are, how long you've been, where you are, you can be replaced. Amen. Every one of us must always understand there have been men and women that were called for great service, but because they were faulty in areas not permitted, they were replaced. Judah died, leaving a gap, but the Lord filled the gap, brought somebody else. No one is indispensable. This man broke covenant. And the Lord rejected him. The swan we read that Samuel went before God in prayer as any pastor will do. I will pray. He was grieved that God has rejected him. So he prayed and said, Lord, Lord. And he was mourning over him. God came and said to him, For how long will you mourn over Saul? For how long will you mourn over somebody that I have rejected? God, the merciful, the compassionate God, said, I have rejected him from reigning over Israel. Because he broke covenant. He said, I have rejected him. But God did not just reject him. He said, fill your own with oil. And go, I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. For I have provided myself a king amongst his son. The same way you pour well on this man who has turned his back on me. The same way I want you to take your home and go where I send you. There you will find another man, a young boy. This young boy is my choice. I will rule my people with him. Pour well on him. I was praying all night long. I was praying. I said to God, what would you want me to say how? He told me, today he will pour new unction, new oil on his sons and daughters. I receive it. Now, when we speak about that oil for you and I, what does it mean? The oil of God is 
the anointing of God. The anointing of God is for consecration. When God gets ready to consecrate a priest, he anoints him. The anointing of God is for appointment and establishment. Even if you are born from a royal family, you can only become a king when there is oil on you. You remain a prince. Amen. The anointing was for sanctification, the stamp of God. Whatever the anointing touches, it is set aside for the Almighty God. The anointing was to break the yoke, to release those who were bound. A slave will remain a slave even if he has a close relationship with his master. For the change to happen, the oil has to be poured. The anointing oil was also for healing. We read together James 5. Is there anyone suffering? Let him pray. Is there anyone cheerful? Let him sing hymns to God. Is anyone amongst you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray for him, anointing him with oil. And the prayer of faith shall heal the sick. And if he has committed sin, it shall be forgiven. And God will restore him. Thank you, Jesus. Those are the functions of the anointing, ladies and gentlemen. But beyond the doubt, the anointing of God is the power that God gives his sons and daughters. Lift your hand and say, give me power. Give me power. An anointed person is a person who has power. Just like your radio cannot function if there is no power. Your ability will never be seen unless there is power in you. There are certain people who are wired correctly but they are not connected to the power source. Lacking power will cause you, though you have a nice cell phone, but still lack communication. You can't operate it when you are low bat. The power of God is not only a privilege, but it is a necessity. For those who want to arise, those who want to do, those who want to stand, those who want to become who God called them to be. The power of God. Lift your hand again and say, give me power. Give me power. Say, oh God. Oh God. Give me power. Give me power. So the anointing of God is the ability that God gives his sons and daughters so they may function on what he has set for them. To be a good pastor, you need the anointing of God. And when we see the anointing of God, we see the complexity of the anointing. Because the anointing of God varies based on the assignment. There is an anointing specific for production, for expansion, for multiplication. The Mimshak anointing spoken so wildly is that anointing that helps you take 10 and make it 100. Mm. And take 100 and turn it into a 1,000. It. it is an anointing that helps you begin in this small space. And before long, you expand everywhere. Somebody say, anoint seven. my head. Anoint my head. Say again, anoint my head. Anoint my head. To function on the altar of God, you need an anointing. To function as a priest, as a servant of God, you need an anointing. 
a priesthood anointing. Mm. This priesthood anointing is not what David had. The priesthood anointing is not what Samuel had put on Saul. Hence, Saul did not serve in the temple or in the tabernacle. David did not serve in the tabernacle. Solomon had an anointing, but not a priesthood anointing. Though he built the house of God, he was not the one working in the house of God. The anointing is different. What we carry is different. There are certain things that are only one who carries a priesthood anointing can do. That's why allow your pastor to be your pastor and you be you. I receive it. The day you begin to position yourself thinking that you can pray better than he prays, you understand the word better than he understands the word, you become clever, you are lost. Amen. It takes a form of anointing to be who a priest is. And please understand, no matter how close Samuel himself was with God, he did not have the kingship anointing. They called him father, not king. Samuel was established in Israel to fulfill the will of God for his people. His assignment was spiritual and divine. He was not set there to also say, I will rule here and there. God raised him in Israel to be the oracle of God, the mouthpiece of God, the vessel through which God will pass. He could have said, oh, well, God, you're speaking to me. It seems like you're struggling to find somebody. Just choose me and make me king. It was not his desire. He was not attracted by the palace. He did not fight to be the one seated on the throne. He was fine being a prophet. Because he understood that uh, he was not anointed with that kingship anointing. When God gives you the anointing to be a king, he has given you the anointing to rule. Amen. You rule your space. You rule in the assignment God has given you. The anointing given to David was that David may become God's leader for his people. David could have never become everything he was if that well was not there. His brothers looked better than him. But none of them, even if they tried, could succeed in the mission of ruling over Israel. There are people here. You are in business. You work in a company. You are given an assignment. You have plans and projects. God say that today, as we gather together, and that those of you across the globe, that you will release an unction, an anointing, Thank you, Jesus. that will lift you in authority, receive it. will cause what you say to matter. I receive God will put everything under you and cause you to rule your space. Oh, Jesus. God will give you that ability. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, when we speak about the ability, I'm talking about an ability 
that is spiritual, not just mere recognition of man. That can be done through a presentation or through a certificate. But the anointing of God is an invisible element that God spiritually bestowed in the person to give him the ability to do that which God has designed for him to do. That is the anointing. It's spiritual capacity. A priest has spiritual capacity. A prophet prophesies because he has spiritual capacity. He's not great by himself. The gift is something that he did not earn. Or else it will not be called a gift. It is a gift given. And the truth that gift is able to pray for somebody who is sick. Though he himself, just like me, often time, do not understand the physical part of that difficulty. Thank God for the doctor. Who oh, come and say this means this. But the truth of the matter is I don't care whether they call it he or ha ha. My gift is in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But no one should boast I am not greater because I have a gift. A gift is given. Right. Can I pray that a gift may come in your life? You, you, can I pray? Can I pray that a gift may come in your life? This will be a gift to rule. Jesus. God is about to anoint men and women, meaning giving you the ability that is not natural, Jesus. an ability that comes from Him. Uh, the Lord will do what He said. He will do. Come close, Jesus. You see Mauritius. Yeah. Do you know Mauritius, right? Yes, I'm from Mauritius. You are from Mauritius. Amen. God will use men and women. There is a my Mauritius a wave to you. But God says, as I pray for you, He'll give you not only for ministry, I thank God for ministry, your call for ministry, but he will cause you to take even the business of your parent very far. I see Amen. shoes. Amen. Jesus. Amen. My father is in shoes. Sorry? He got the shoe business. business. I got the shop. You got the shop? Yeah. We import shoes and we sell shoes. You sell shoes? Yeah. You make them? We import from You Brazil, import Italy. and you sell? Yeah. So you have a shop? Amen. Mm. That says the Lord I serve. The anointing is a spiritual capacity. You can't read it in a book. Everyone born in October, wave to me. Anyone born in October? You are born in October. I pray for every October child of God to receive something big. Jesus. Tell your neighbor not to be afraid. His time will come. It is not your problem that he was not born in October. You cannot be blamed by that. But if you are born in August wave, hey! in August wave, August wave, yes, sir, yes, sir. Jehovah will do that. Hey, 
I pray for you very quickly that God may impart. You begin to see the grace of God, the capacity of God. I see shoe business, your father's business. You say you import and you sell and whatever happens with shoes. Yes. Amen. Niha is... My sister. Niha. My sister. She's watching. Niha. You're watching. Que le Seigneur te bénisse. Que le Seigneur fasse luire sa face sur toi. Que quelque chose de spécial vienne sur toi. Alors, Niha. She's watching, right? She's watching. Amen. You're watching, right? <laughs> Remain steady. Remain strong in your faith. For this year, God says about to reward your faith. Receive it. But I'm seeing that because of your faith, your relationship is going through great weed. Is that true? That's true. Your marriage needs God. And as I pray for you, your brother, I am praying for you. My daughter, the Lord is visiting your entire family. Jesus. And God will do for you what you had prayed for. Your faith is about to pay you off. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lift your hands on. I bless you. I give you that gift that the Lord has spoken that you may operate with in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lana, come with that flag. I need the flag. Come with the flag. Hallelujah. I am praying for your country. I'm praying for Lebanon. And I want somebody to join me as we pray for Lebanon. Jesus. We pray that God may remember those who are ease. Those who are calling on his name. Those who are going through all kinds of winds Amen. and waves. Amen. Those who are saying, Lord, heal our nation. Amen. Amen. Those who are right now in fear of what tomorrow will hold yes. because of the geopolitical issues that are happening out there. We are the people of God. If yes. my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from the wicked ways, God said, I will hear them from heaven. Forgive the sins and heal the land. Jesus. Save it. My precious mommy there. Yes, mama. Yes. What's your name, mama? Please come. I, I just need to pray for you. Well, I am still preaching. I am preaching and telling you the will of God. God wants to deposit in your life the kind of ability you need to take charge of everywhere you Amen. are. Somebody holler, I receive it. I receive it. God is releasing in your life the anointing that you need, the capacity you need, the power you need I'm to take it. charge of your area, your sphere, your community, your work, your area of business. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Mommy, you are full of faith. Jesus. Because of that, as I call Lana, I saw you doing this. Jesus. I see you, I see the flag of South Africa, but I'm seeing the flag of the United Kingdom. Uh, I'm from South Africa. I work in the United Kingdom. Yes. All right. Hallelujah. Jesus. You are from South Africa, but you work in the United Kingdom. Yes. You have been there for very long. 20, about 23 years now. For 23 years you have been there. You've been caring for others. My mother used to be a nurse. I am a nurse. I know. Jesus. I no 
know you are praying for your family. I'm not just talking about your children. Oh my God. Jesus. Great mind. I'm seeing someone like a, a beside the printing, I'm seeing a graphic designer. Oh. Yeah. My Lishate is does business. He's escorted business, and his wife is a graphic designer. Uh -huh. Oh Lord Jesus! Jesus. Is it Quena? Oh, Quena is my little, my younger son. Oh Quena. Jesus! Hallelujah! The Lord is blessing him. Oh, Be it in Europe. In the bank, God is blessing him. When I works in the bank, he is in the United States. Glory to Jesus. Oh God. Now, mommy, when did you arrive? I arrived on the 15th. Of this month. Of this month. Yes. Somebody's watching you. Someone may say, oh, well, you said to be pastor, you told pastor to say these things. There are people who are out there who, no matter what you do, their unbelief is in the highest level. It's unbelievable. It is so unbelievable that even if you bring somebody and cut him into pieces, put him together, in fact, they will doubt more. Mommy came all the way. Yes. She lives in the United Kingdom, you say, for 23 years. Yes. But I'm seeing Brackpan. You know where, where, where is Brackpan? Oh, I've got my, my house in, in Brackpan. You have a house in Brackpan? But I am going for, to Limpopo. Do you know Limpopo? Limpopo is where my mom is. All right. The grace of God will I help everyone in your family. Jesus. Will I help your children? <laughs> you work so hard. Jesus. Jesus. From this day forward, I'm releasing a new grace in your life in the name of Jesus. Stretch your hand. It is a gift. It is power. It will help you function in a Thank place you, you have never functioned before. Thank in Jesus' Jesus. name. Take it! In Jesus' name. Lift your hand and say, give me power. Give me power. Oh Lord, give me power. Oh Lord, give me power. The word of God say you shall be the head and not the tail. Receive it. Being number two is not what God desires. Uh, you will be the head. You will not be the tail. In the name of Jesus. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. When God says it and you believe it, so shall it be. You're moving under the power of God. Look at this. Come, come. Jesus. Where are you from? Beside Angola. Angola. Where? J'ai aussi la nationalité française. J'ai française et angolaise. Française, angolaise. Je sais, I am French and I'm Angolan. Where did you come from? Beside that, did you travel? Do you know where is um, the new Arab Emirate? J'habite à Abu Dhabi. I right. live in Abu Dhabi. Okay. Oh. Abu Dhabi, by the way, is not 
That's how that's Saddam. It's part of the United Arab Emirates. That's right. Don't go to Alexander, you're looking for Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. Which street is Abu Dhabi? <laughs> She's French. She says. Angolese. Hey, Angolese. The grace of God is upon you. And God will begin to fulfill for you what he said that he will do in your life. La grâce de Dieu est sur toi et Dieu va commencer à faire ce qu'il a promis de faire dans ta vie. Is that your daughter? Yes, yes. C'est ton fille. Please come. Jesus. You're a blessed family. She will operate in greater Jesus. power. Mm. Mm. I see her in France, in Paris. Je la vois en France, à Paris. Elle, elle habite en France. Elle habite en France. Oui. She lives in Paris. Elle fait partie de My France, oui. Oh, tu viens de Emmaï. France, à Paris. You come from here, my friends, in Paris. Avec le pasteur Grégoire. With Pastor Gregory. Qu'est-ce que tu sens? Qu'est-ce qui se passe maintenant? What do you feel? What's happening? The power of God. The power of God. Où est ton pasteur? La puissance de Dieu, c'est ce que tu sens. Où est ton pasteur? Le pasteur Grégoire. Where is your pastor? He's over there. Yes. He's coming. Your English is good. I study in English. I study in English. Hallelujah! Where is A, my France here? I can't see your flags, I can't see you. There, 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 A, my France. A, my France, right at the back, right here, all over. Come. God is giving you a greater influence. Jesus. I see people mentioning your name. And I see a name, I don't know if it's clothes or what, but God is giving you a brand. And he's saying the reason he's doing that is because he wants you to have influence for him. He will place in your hand so much wealth. And he said... Je suis une femme d'affaires. Moi, je suis fashion design. J'ai une marque en Angola. Ça, c'est mes habits. C'est ma crème. I'm actually a fashion designer from Angola. What I'm wearing is my own brand. She is a businesswoman. She has her own brand of clothes. And even what she's wearing is her own. The Lord showed me that he's giving you a name. And I say... <laughs> is a brain that uh, will have influence because no. today God is giving Jesus. us power to rule. <laughs> and he says he will give you wealth, but uh, this is uh, for his kingdom first, that you put him Alleluia. first. Alleluia. The influence you are about to begin to experience. Shall be to draw men unto Jesus. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands. The anointing to rule, the anointing of David. <laughs> Jesus' name. Go back to Abu Dhabi with a more than an Abu Dhabi anointing. Go that. with my altar's glory. Glory to Jesus. You see the amount of power going through. Yeah. My precious Vivian, please come. Jesus. She's under the grace, she's under the anointing of God. Serve God well. Serve God well. Under your pastor, serve God well. Come here. Zemaholo Boshia. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 
Jesus. Somebody lift your hand. Thank you, Jesus. Say, give me power. Give me power. Say, give me power. Give me power. Save it. Receive what God has in store. In the name of Jesus. For you. In Jesus' name. I receive it. In Jesus' name. Amen. This is my brother. He came from the United Kingdom. It is, he's my brother. He's always there with me. He's my blood brother. Glory to Jesus. And he's very dear to me. Just beautiful to have him. When I was praying for the man who was on a wheelchair, you were close there. You were close to him. Yes, I was standing there. Come, come, come. Your hand lifted, and if you are watching us, I want you to also lift your hand. So, what's your name? Daksh, Daksh Obroy. What? Daksh, D A K S H. All right, Daksh, Daksh. I, I just remembered you, and when I talk to my brother right now, I saw you. Now, this is what I'm seeing. Oh, God. I see Delhi, but I see you with horses. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Yes, yes, yes. I'm into horses. It is like uh, you, you, you've been involved in uh, uh, horse race, racing. How do you know? Glory <laughs> oh, to Jesus. Yes, yes. Is that true? That's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. Absolutely true. That's my passion turned profession. That is your passion and profession. So you 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 do horse racing. Yes, Pastor. I see there used to be a lot of horses before. Did your father do the same thing? Yes, I'm following his legacy. <laughs> you are following the legacy of your father. Yes. Jesus. Now tell, let me tell you something. The reason why you say that uh, you are following the legacy of your father is because your father died. He's no longer here. Is that correct? Yes. And uh, you have taken over. Because I see your father having difficulties with his liver and died in 2011. Oh, yes. You are amazing. Yes. Is yes. that correct? That's true. Liver cirrhosis. Okay. You have not only taken charge to carry on his legacy, but it is your passion. Horse racing is something that... Oh. Uh, look at this. Hallelujah. Look at... <laughs> Jesus Christ. How did you come to know us? Tell me. Uh, what brought you here? Luckily, I was in Bangalore. My horse was running. And there I saw your holdings all over Bangalore. <laughs> Wait. Wait. You say your horse was running, meaning that uh, there was a race. There was an event in Bangalore. There's a 2,000 guineas happening that time. Very classic race. So my horse was supposed to participate there. And when you got to Bangalore, you saw... Your holdings from airport to everywhere, everywhere in Bangalore. Hallelujah! Pray for India! Oh, yes! Look, you saw, my, my dear son handled that alone. The, there was no place, no highway, yes. where there were, there were no banners, billboards. So you went for racing. Yes. Your, your horse was racing in Bangalore. Yes. You went there not knowing that we took over Bangalore. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me what, what happened. Then, then you saw that. So, so that fine day I saw your holdings. And there was something which was making me inclined towards this. Pray for India. It's something you know, special to everyone. 
So I made my mind that I have to be there. So when I reached there, I'm not pastor, I'm, I'm not related to any, anything over there. Surprisingly, nobody stopped me. I entered without a pass, without anything, without a ribbon, anything. I entered and I was sitting right in the front row. Nobody stopped me. Oh, wow. In the pastoral meeting that took place. Yes, right. Where Rohan was sitting on my right and I was sitting on the left in the front row, which is, I think, because of security, impossible. Rohan is there. I saw the gentleman, yes, and his better half as well. And the better half. Do you know each other? Oh, I saw him there, but yes. Okay, come, 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 come. You saw them in India. Yes, in fact. So you decided, I gotta go there. I will not miss this program. Oh, yes, it was very, so, I was inclined, very strongly inclined. Very inclined. So you went into the program. We had one day service. We're supposed to have a big service that we did not have, we would have in the coming month or so. Of course. But it's not cancelled, it's postponed. It will happen bigger and better. Bigger and better. The comeback will be stronger than Come the Come, my son. You see what God has done? So tell me, He knows you now. Yes, Papa. So you say you, you came to that pastor's meeting and you sat in front. Nobody stopped you. Nobody. They didn't ask you whether you're a pastor or not. You just a chat, chat up. You I said. Walked on. Nobody stopped. Despite so many security people in line, there was a kilometer long line outside. People were waiting to go inside despite having all the bands. Surprisingly, nobody stopped. Not even the security. Not even the security. And you chose to go to sit in front. Right in front where a gentleman was sitting on my right hand side. Hey! Hey! Favor! I say favor! Favor! But you do not know each other. You do not know each other. No problem. All right. Now, may I please ask? You do not know each other. Have you ever spoken to me before? Well, definitely yes, through my spiritual divine powers and yours power rather. <laughs> <laughs> There's something which makes two people connect. There is something you feel is direct. Definitely. Okay, yes. that is spiritual, right? Definitely. And physical. Have you ever spoken to me physically before? Nope. Never. This is the first time I'm here and surprisingly I'm here because of horses again. Oh, you are here because of horses again? Yes. Tell me about that. There is a... On Thursday, there was a race in Johannesburg and my very dear friend's horse was running there. <laughs> Cannot be bigger coincidence than this. That means I was meant to be here to meet you face to face. It was predestined. It was, it was meant to happen. Um, now let me speak to you. I am glad that you have come. I am glad that the Lord had led you to Bangalore for that race and seeing the billboards with my pictures, you decided to go to that meeting. Yes. It is a sign that uh, while others were in queues, pastors, it was for pastors. Yes. You passed. <laughs> Not sitting anywhere, you went to sit in front. <laughs> Please don't hide this. Please don't fire the security. <laughs> were you blessed today when you were there? Definitely, yes. My horse won, won the next day. <laughs> and he was a longer odds horse. Nobody expected him to win. It was a longer odd horse. <laughs> I'm sure because of your blessing, many made money as well. <laughs> Glory God is a good Jesus. God. Your blessing, of course. I am praying now that a greater impartation of grace may come on you. Mm. Amen. You were born differently. I can tell you about you. I can tell you things that will help you. No, I won't say. I'll say some. When you were born of your father and your mother, Mm -hmm. The desire of your father was, I want a boy. I have girls. I have Jasmine. Oh, yeah. I have Kumsi. Now, I need a boy. You know what I'm talking about? How? <laughs> was somebody stalking me in Bangalore? 
how, how unbelievable. You know their names. This is unbelievable. They are married, each has two children. They are teachers, both of them. Yes. Kumsi is right now in Delhi. Yes. But uh, Jasmine is, is, is in Agra. <laughs> yes. Yes. Jesus is Lord. Do, do, do you know Agra? Do you know Agra? Agra. Agra, Delhi. You know Agra? Yes. Anybody who knows Agra? Yeah. Now I know Agra. It's the first time I'm hearing Agra. I hear it in spirit. Agra. When you were born, the Lord had placed something special on you. Today is Sunday. Yes. You were born on a Sunday. Yes. On the 27th yes. of November, 1983. Love with yes. Jesus. Whoa. It was a Sunday. God at all the time. <laughs> this is what God is saying. is giving you now spiritual ability that will cause you to go higher in what is set in you. The horse racing business is something that you'll begin to see blossoming everywhere you look. Amen. God Jesus. will do it because God is a faithful God. Everybody lift your hand and receive what God has in store. I pray for you. You're a big man. Please don't stop with God. I, I want to see you again and again. I would definitely be there. And I was very sure that you, I will catch your eyes. You will, your eyes will see me. I was so sure. And I was so sure that I got something which suits the stallion. The stallion is the one who rules everybody. So it would be my honor if you accept the stallion. Oh. Oh. Look what the Lord has done. a gift of a stallion. Hallelujah. Now in Hallelujah Ministries, every time you receive a gift, you have to declare. I'm declaring it. <laughs> in AMI, every pastor, when you receive a gift, you must declare it. <laughs> Look what the Lord has oh, done. Yes. <laughs> Look what the Lord has. It's beautiful. Very. I'm grateful. Very. Can I have the plastic? The, you. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. I will take care of it. I'd love to see you wearing this someday. You will want to see me wearing it. Perhaps this will make sure that everything goes fine when you come to India. Everything. Hey!
wisdom. Thank you for this. May the Lord bless you. Remain with God. What I have spoken to you, I have not spoken in my own name. The Lord our God will fulfill that. He will expand you. He's putting you the head in your industry. Hear this. My name is Af Lukau. I have said it, so it shall be. I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Pray for India. Pray for India. Everybody, this has lift your hand. Okay, just give me that paper and I will deal with it here. Just give it to me. Do you, as I hold it, something will happen. You see? You see? It, there it goes. God is healing. Healing is taking place there. Receive it. Healing is taking place Receive there. Receive your healing. Receive it. Name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. They kept on waving this. Every time I looked, they, they showed me this. Every time I looked, they showed me this. My God, my God. As a point of contact. It is a point of contact. Jesus. All right. I see it in the paper that pray for me. I have multiple fibros. Come with that paper. Come with that paper. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right, all right, don't come, don't come unless I call you, please. Okay? Unless I call you, don't, don't come. But since you are here, Jesus. Change my story, she said. The man there, close to the two flags, the one close to you. Your kidneys also will be healed today. Receive your healing. I see that you also had kidneys problem. Come, come. My precious daughter Mary, wave to me. And I turn, look at the person next to you. Mary, turn, look at the person directly next to you. Behind you, the person behind you. Say, say, are you Julius? No, Mary, ask her. Mary, ask, are you Julius? Oh, come here. Hallelujah. There is a miracle for everybody. There is a miracle for everyone. I will save it. So shall it be. It cannot, it cannot be, be otherwise. In Jesus' name. I'll pray for you. Each one of you. Please stand up, all of you then. Stand up. Stand up. Stretch your hands. All of you. You have faith, I see. Your faith, I can see that. <laughs> just, just impart your grace over our life. Yeah. <laughs> the greater things to see, the greater things to see, the greater things to see. Receive, receive. In the name of Jesus. Each 
Jehovah. The one I serve is Elohim. Yes. The one I serve is upon the throne. The one I serve heals today. The one I serve is almighty. The one I serve has no impossibility. I bless you with the grace of God. Take it. Take it. Take it. Name of Take Jesus. It. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Verse 7. The power of God, the grace of God, the glory of God. Take it. Take it. This is on the altar of God. This is in the Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Join me. What you make happen for them? God, God, God will make happen for you. Oh, God. Oh, oh Sababa. Multiple fibroids. Multiple fibroids. They will live now. Now. The one who is able to operate you with an operation that leaves no scar is touching you now. Take it! Receive it! Take it! If you're healing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bring him up. Oh, she araba gere gere araba baba. Are you Julius? Oh God. I was speaking French. You understand French or not? But you know that the one who will be coming after I pray will be speaking seven languages. Oh, here it is. You are trusting God to give you a child. It's true. You are saying, God, I don't know. They say you cannot have a child. It's true. It's true. Where are you from? I'm from Uganda. All right now, where are you from? From UK. You are from Uganda. Where in Uganda? In Kampala. Oh, maybe we neighbors because I'm from Kampala also. I tell you, I'm Ugandan. You didn't know. <laughs> they have said you will not have. I say you will have. Uh, take it. Take, take it. That's they have said it based on what they saw. I say it based on what he says. And I see a child coming out of you. An intelligent boy. Amen. Very intelligent that will bring you joy. Amen. I just do not know if he's still with Sarah or not. Oh. I... I live with her, but <sighs> Sarah wronged me, and don't say. Okay, keep it. There are people who want to hear. Eh? <laughs> don't say. I want to enter into your matters. Jehovah Shammah, I see you everywhere. Bless and redeemer, your glory fills the earth. Everlasting Father, the one who watches me, I put my confidence in Jehovah, Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Shammah. I see you. Bless and redeemer. Your glory, everlasting Father, the one who washes me. I put my confidence alone. 
I call you Julius. That's your name, right? The Lord will do what only He can do. Your heart is in the right place. Amen. Don't let go of your God. Amen. Keep listening to what God is saying. Yeah. Follow the instruction. Yes. Connect to your altar. Yeah, this is my altar. As I stand with you as your Father in the Lord, no matter what, as deep your connection will go, as strong your intimacy with God will be. Amen. I see many battles. Many, many battles. But God from this day forward will begin to show you signs because as I'll be praying for you, we're going to kick certain devils out. Amen. Unfortunately, those who resist will have only themselves to blame in their graves because enough is enough. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your hand, we pray. Look, God is giving us power of rulership. Be it in the career business or in farming because God is taking you into big farms very soon. The Lord is giving you rulership. And the anointing I'm talking about is a power, is the power of God. I am an empty person without it. God gave me power. It's not my own. But I just think that God gave me too much of it. That's why I hide in Him. Jesus. God speaks to many. But I just think that He speaks to me with too many details. He speaks to me all the time about everybody. Even the thing you're hiding. Jesus. I am giving you power that will help you grow. That will help this world come to pass. Are you ready for it? Damn it! Save it. Damn it! In the name of Jesus. The power of God! Take it! You're going back to the United Kingdom with the power of God. In the name of Jesus. And that which they say you not have, that which they denied you to have, you will have in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will have in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. So shall it be. Bring me the man. If you may, please stand because something is happening to you too. Something here is for you too. Jesus. I read that paper. That paper said, this is not your paper. This is a paper I read. Kidney problem. I, and I see you have, you had kidney issues. Yes, I know, I know. I'm saying that as I read your paper. No, 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 no. He doesn't have paper. He didn't come with a paper. He came with faith. As I saw the kidney problem. And I saw up there the paper here. He was seated. I saw him there standing with the wave. And God said, as he's healing you, as he healed you now. Of this, he said, he's healing him also. You had Severe issues healing. with your kidneys before. Yes, I have kidney failure. Sorry? Kidney failure. You, you, yes. you have kidney failures? Yes. 90, oh. 80 to 90% of kidneys not working. You say to the doctor, first, have you ever spoken to me before? Did you tell me that before? I saw you on YouTube. You saw me on YouTube? Yeah. All right. Uh, when I saw you on YouTube, I'm recovering. That's why I come to you. All right. You saw me on YouTube. Yes. Now and the... I'm recovering. First, I got dialysis. Lots of time. But when I see you, I'm recovering. And I didn't want to recovering 100%. Oh, this is a testimony. He said he was on dialysis until he saw me. On YouTube. My good God. And from then, the Lord touched him. He stopped. 
Hallelujah. And now you are coming that God may complete it. Now you are coming that God may complete your healing. Completely recovering. Pray or, for me, please. Speak up to the doctor about the exact problem you, are, you had. Already if you're on diocese and uh, it's gone because you're connected, you watch on Glory YouTube. Glory to Jesus. Do that. Thank you, Jesus. What is the issue? So it, it says that, that he had uh, renal failure and he says that he was on dialysis but he hasn't been on dialysis since December last Since week. December? Yes. And he says ever since he started ever since he started watching AMI videos on YouTube he says he's getting better but he's not quite healed yet because the the two items we look at for renal failure says they're still a little bit high, but they're better than what they were before. Jeez. Did you hear this? He traveled, he came here. He say, the doctor say, he was on dialysis and he stopped from December since he watched us. He got better, but he's still struggling. Meaning the process of healing. Sometimes God takes you through a process. There are certain things, today you have it. We prayed for somebody on the wheelchair in the church. Laid hands on the person. And the person really wanted that healing. But it did not happen. Wheeled back home. Got home. Boom. He stood at home. Glory to Jesus. You trusting God for finance and this month still not. Sometimes it's a process. You keep on pushing. You keep on pushing. Before you go, boom, it's open. Are you hearing me? So it came that God may fulfill what he has said. Amen. Now, I need to use any time, any opportunity I have to get you in faith. Tell me, how is it that this can be the working of a pastor or a man? I don't know him. He, just like many, traveled. He has his own experience. If he was... One who is playing, you will know it. You can see is in pain and he wants God. The church of our Lord Jesus Christ is under great attack because the devil wants to change the narrative. Right. We all have to stand in faith. Activate our faith, believing in God and trying to do. What I do here is done because I get an offering from him or, or get an offering for anyone. No. It is not driven by anything. This is what the church is called to do. Amen. The church is called to purify the lepers, to cast out devils, to preach the good news of our Lord, to heal the sick. It is our assignment. May God give you power to rule. I receive it. Now lift your hands, stretch your hands to this handsome young man that God may restore him completely. At a count of three, the power of God will come and fix what men cannot fix. Yes. I release it over you. One, two, three. Yes. Yes.
Biana Holo Boshia. Healed. In the name of Jesus. You are healed. In the name of Jesus. Completely healed. I'm Completely straight. healed. Thank you, Jesus. Completely healed. Hallelujah. I say completely healed. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Now, they say to me, beyond the healing they are in ministry, they want God to impact the ministry. They want God, oh, oh, where are you from? From India. From, from Mumbai. I'm also from Mumbai. I'm yeah. telling you. Look at me, look at me. What do you want God to do? Which, what do you want God to do in using you? Power for the Lord. You want to work with power? With power! With power! With power! Jesus. Everybody lift your hands, say power. Power. Say power. Power. Jesus. Take the power. Everyone else receive the power. The receive the power of God. Receive the power of God. Receive the power of God. Take your hands, put them on your head. It's not over. Lord, we thank you for your blessing upon us. We give you glory. We give you thanks. We give you thanks because you are God. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Well, on the 24th of February 2002, Alleluia Ministries opened its door. It was by the Lord. God led everything about what we know to be a mind. A long journey where we have seen God's faithfulness. Today, the ministry has turned 22 years old. Hallelujah. It is our moment to celebrate God, to thank Him, to show gratitude for the many lives across the globe that have been impacted, touched through what God is doing in this ministry. I invite the bishops and I invite all my pastors who are here to be here with me on the altar. We celebrate God today. Pastors will be this side and my bishop comes here. of what the Lord has done for 22 years in Hallelujah Ministries International. We can do better than that for 22 years. And quickly, ladies and gentlemen, our precious in the Lord, you know that it's all started with a call. A man of God that answered the call and who is today the visionary leader, the spiritual father, the general overseer and senior pastor of AMI. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Make some noise as we honor our father. He, he, Apostle.
lost on our local. Father, quickly, we present unto you an item that we have come just to celebrate with the 22 years is just a symbolic gesture of cutting the cake and having uh, some sparkling wine non-alcoholic for sure in order to celebrate this moment. My father, as the woman of God, your daughter will be cutting the cake. We will be serving you that we may just pronounce a short and small toast that we may allow you to speak a word to launch us into the next 22 years to come. Father, we want to raise this glass to Hallelujah Ministries International. AMI is who we are. Serving God is what we do. For 22 years, you have been consistent and faithful to your God. And as one man, we have been behind you. And today, we just want to commit to continue to serve you as you serve your God. Three things we toast for, to serve you in obedience, to serve you in complete and total submission, and to serve you with diligence and excellence. This is a pledge unto our men of God. And now we ask for 22 million souls to come our way in the next 22 years in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, humbly, we ask after this toast that you may say a word for the next 22 years. To Emma! Your time of labor 
Will you lift your hands? Father, we want to thank you for 22 years of showing us mercy. 22 years of being there with us. Thank you, Jesus. Catching us when we are falling. Strengthening us when we were weak. Mm. Lifting us up in our lowest. 22 years. Yes, Lord. Of wiping away our tears. 22 years of reassuring us that you are with us. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. In this day, as my precious son has said, we ask for 22 million souls. Jesus. And Lord, these 22 million souls, we ask for this year. In the name of Jesus. We will commit to advance the kingdom of God. Yes. I want you and I in this day to renew a commitment, especially to a new thing. And that is, we will win 22 million souls for Jesus Christ this year. In the name of Jesus. From everywhere, from everywhere around the world. If you are here, stop at nothing. With your resources, with your influence, with your position, push that we empty hell and fill up heaven. Amen. And Lord, help us to fulfill this. Jesus. Pastors, my sons, my daughters, Bishop Celeste, I sincerely thank you. This day is not about me. Please, it's not about me. It's about God and the vision. And all of us as a servant, I want to thank you for being faithful. And I want you to know the Lord in heaven is happy. I don't know if we have to sing it here, if it is appropriate, but I feel like we should say, Happy birthday.
somebody put your hands together for Jesus. This is the end of the day. There's nothing Bishop Jay will say. Then you are blessed by the best for the best. So under the supreme grace of my Father, I bless your Monday. I say I bless your Monday. I bless your Tuesday. I bless your Wednesday. I bless your Thursday. I bless your Friday. Your Saturday is blessed. Go now in the uncommon favor and the peace of Almighty God. We have come to the end of our celebrations. God bless you as you go home. Shalom, we love you. Thank you for tuning into our broadcast. We trust that you've been blessed. For more information and resources, visit our website at www.alleluiaministries.com. For our prayer line, you may call the numbers on your screen. Tune into our next broadcast. Stay blessed.